It's been over two years since the pandemic, and the healthcare industry has experienced one of the most historical burnouts. In today's episode, we're going to address some of these issues and discover a solution that's revolutionizing the way we care for patients. I'm Nicole Soper, and today's episode is presented by Dr. Kumo. Let's just jump right into it. Our guest today is Dr. Alina Mott, a rehab medicine doctor with a subspecialty in pain medicine, practicing in Long Beach, California. Welcome, Dr. Mott. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you. Um, so what have been some challenges for you in these last two years with the pandemic? Well, we've dealt with a lot of challenges. Um, I think one of the most important thing is that uh, we have realized a lot of pitfalls that we had in healthcare, and uh, it all came to the surface um, during the past two years. Um, one of the most important thing is that we realize that uh, we don't know about our patients until we see them either in the hospitals or in the clinics. Um, they go away and then they show up and they are sick and we don't know what happened in between. Uh, so that's been one of the hurdles that we've been dealing with. Yeah, another thing with the pandemic, the, the hospitals have been overcrowded as well, is that correct? That's so, true. Yeah, so even if a patient with a chronic illness did want to come and make an appointment with you, it was almost impossible. Yeah, thanks for highlighting that. That's actually a very important fact. A lot of people who had chronic diseases, uh, they were really scared of showing up at the hospitals or the, in the clinics. Uh, because they were afraid of getting COVID, um, so they didn't show up, so their care was affected as, as, a, as a result. Mm -hmm. And that, that became another burden for a lot of patients and also healthcare providers. Yes, yes. Um, are there any kind of solutions that you know about um, that would help with this chronic care and overwhelming overcrowding of the hospitals um, that might help in the future? Well, um, I, I, I suspect and I hope so. So all along these past year, two years, uh, I was actually thinking myself among my colleagues as we were talking, if, if this could have been, a, if there could have been a possibility of maybe um, having a way to monitor the people at, or the patients while they're at home, mm -hmm. at their own uh, living uh, places, um, and then to keep an eye on them um, and if anything goes wrong, to bring them in um, so we could avoid unnecessary visits to the hospitals, to the ERs when everybody is overwhelmed. And then also in the meantime, keep monitoring them, and especially in the case of chronic uh, patients. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so then let's get into remote patient monitoring. Um, I know okay. that's kind of a new technology, something new that um, has been brought on. Um, and I know it's basically what you were talking about, being able to monitor patients from the comfort of their own homes while the doctors can see, you know, their vitals um, every time they take, um, you know, blood pressure, like a pulse ox True. reading. Um, so do you think that most practices should try to adopt that remote patient monitoring or how do you feel about that? I, I don't think most practices should adopt it. I think all practices should be adopting this. This is the way to the future. And um, it is very promising. It could pretty much revolutionize the healthcare as we know it today. Mm -hmm. um, I think this would be perfect picture, perfect case scenario that you could have eyes on your patients in between the visits. Mm -hmm. So you know what's happening with their vital signs, what's happening with their pl blood pressure, what's happening to their blood sugar, what happens to their weight. And, and many more indices as we move forward, we can add it as we need it mm -hmm. or as required. I, I think this would be mm, a breakthrough yeah. into the future. Yeah, I definitely agree. I think um, it would be beneficial to the patients, to the doctors. You know, if something does occur, um, then they could just call the doctor right away um, and then be taken care of instead of having to wait, you know, in exactly. a hospital or a clinic yes. for hours. Yes. So, yeah, that's wonderful. I think that's, that's great. Well, let's take it to the audience. Do you guys have any questions about remote patient monitoring, um, what it does, um, how it could benefit you? If you do, just write it in the comments and then we'll have Dr. Namat take a look. <laughs> 